Yo, what's up? Bob here. Early Saturday morning, RSD drop number two, 2021, 5.56 a.m. I'm running just a little later than normal. It's thunderstorming out. It's very rainy. Did bring my umbrella. It'll be interesting to see how many people are out here. Been raining all night. <laughs> so we're going to see what happens. Try to get some good records. Here we go. We got here first. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just curious. I got here right before four. Okay. Yeah. Was it still raining? <laughs> All right, I'm gonna ask this time. Last time we did get a couple complaints about the Russian. Da da da. Just kind of take your time. Good love with that. <laughs> It'll work. Hope so. It'll work. Cause I think there's plenty of stuff for everybody. All right. Yeah, you can go on in. Ban, ban, ban. Fine. It's good. Another it's good, good record store. That's right. Yo, BC, what's up? Bob here. Record store day drop number two, July 17th, 2021, is officially over. I got there early. It was raining a bit. I was sixth in line. This is the first time that I went to one shop and got everything I wanted. I could have gotten more. They had plenty of records, but I only have so much money and you can't get them all. So what did I get? Let's get into it right now. Coming in hot, St. Vincent's seven inch release. Side A is the nine inch nails track, Piggy. And side B is the Metallica track, Sad But True. It is on black vinyl with a blank black label. I prefer the nine inch nails track. I think it suits St. Vincent much better than Sad But True. Overall, this is a very cool little novelty item that you can get for cheap. It helps to support the artist and your local record store. For record store day so i was happy to get it next this is audio file release from craft recording this is a half speed master of john martin's the church with one bell kind of a blues folk record filled with cover tunes that you might recognize like strange fruit and the sky's crying i know that there have been some criticism of abbey road's half speed mastered records in the past but this one sounds pretty good it's on black vinyl and it's very heavy i would suggest probably 200 grams super nice presentation i think it was maybe 21.99 or maybe 23.99 i do have the <laughs> i do have my receipt right here and i keep the price tags on the back they had two copies of it I was glad to grab one of those. The Blue Eyed Bandit soundtrack by Morricone. Morricone? More, 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 I don't know. I do know this. He did the soundtrack for The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, and he did this one as well. So it is a kind of a funky soundtrack with strings and stuff, and it's really good. It sounds great. It's on blue translucent vinyl. It's from the master tapes, and this is new artwork which I think is much better than the original. I was glad to get this. They had one copy, I got it. Presentation on this is perfect. Crosby, Stills, Nash & Young, Deja Vu Alternates. Crazy, nice gatefold. Very similar to the original one, just went in a different colorway. It's on black vinyl. Very clean pressing, flat, typical Atlantic label. The only record that came with a nice inner sleeve. Everything else came in those kind of glossy printed ones that you have to have a crowbar to get the record out of. It's really interesting to hear the songs in this way. We've all heard the original tracks off of this record for so long that hearing them any other way is really odd. And I think after you listen to this, it'll be clear that they chose the right versions for the actual release. It's cool to hear these alternate versions. They're almost like early demos or before the arrangements were perfectly set in place. This is a really strong Record Store Day release. Sound quality on it is really good. Next, a record that I talked about getting and I got it. Two days before Record Store Day, I got an email that said this wasn't coming out. And here it is. 
the Cro-Mags Age of Quarrel. John Joseph and Harley, I'm sure, were arguing about whether or not this was actually gonna come out. I'm glad it did. It is a high quality digital transfer, but let's be honest, punk rock hardcore records are not audiophile things in the first place. This is probably as good as the uh, original pressing of the record. Maybe, I don't know, it's hard to say. This is a nice pressing. It's clearly brand new and in mint condition on this red and black splatter. Yeah, it's cool. This is a super aggro record. And it's, it's just, it's an awesome record. And I'm glad to have it. Speaking of records, I'm glad to have. This is Ann Peebles, that's right. Woo-wee! A record of cover tunes. It's your thing. Chain of Fools is on here. It's really good. It's on purple vinyl. Kind of brings to mind some of the Betty Davis releases in the sense that Ann Peebles has a kind of a funky, raunchy voice when she gets down on it. You hear some of that natural distortion off the mic coming in. It's great soul music. So this is a record that's almost impossible to find an original pressing of. Cool Record Store Day release. That's what Record Store Day is all about. I was really on the fence if I was going to get this record because according to a lot of websites showing the prices of these records, they had this thing priced at 85 bucks. I got it for $60. Bill Evans behind the dikes. Now $60 is still expensive, okay? But it is a three LP set and guess what? It's much better quality than last year's release. That was going around. Everybody was saying it. You know, it's one of those things when I put the first record on, I was holding my breath like, oh my gosh, I hope this is good. And it is. It's it's really great. Black vinyl. It was pressed by Standard Vinyl. Pressed by Bernie Grunman. The records didn't look real dirty, but they were a bit noisy at first. I cleaned them up and they sounded much better. So really happy to get this. Bill Evans behind the dikes. I wasn't sure if I was gonna get it, but I figured if I didn't, I would regret it. It's on Elemental, really cool. I did retain my hype stickers, just cut them out and slid them in the front here. Really nice release there. Last but not least, Miles Davis Champions. Rare Miles from the complete Jack Johnson sessions. Epic Jim Marshall photograph on the front on this yellow piece of wax. The tracks on this are so funky, so nasty. Speaking of Betty Davis, you can tell this dude's been hanging out with her. This is really good. The bass on this is nasty. I mean, just nasty. Featuring an all-star cast of Jack DeJanette, Herbie Hancock, Dave Holland, Keith Jarrett, Benny Maupin, John McLaughlin, Wayne Shorter, and many more. That's right. The Fusion A-Team down here. This is killer. Full disclosure, my record is a bit wavy. Plays fine, it's not perfectly flat. That said, this is a great, great release for Record Store Day. I had a fantastic time. <laughs> Got a pretty big stack of records, to be honest. I got as many this time as I did in drop one. I didn't expect that. There was more I could have gotten. I would have loved to have had that Cecil McBee or any of the jazz releases that came out. You know, I could not get the Age of Coral. I mean, come on, man. Anyhow, please like, subscribe, tell a friend, leave a comment down below. Until we meet again, that's right, folks. Bob out.